drink of coke and lots of bourbon doing a chicken scratch what are we doing now? tucking his shirt in sipping Fastening, belting. <laughs> oh yes.
Now look like a director. <laughs> cut. Everyone's just cut. <laughs> I've got nothing to say. Come on. You've got to have something to say. I've got something to say. Michael's girlfriend should stop being so possessive and she should let us have a crack at him every now and then because we've had him a lot longer. Crack is mine. We, we, we need to have Michael on a regular basis. He's that sort of man. He is. You're a fuckhead, Craig. That's, oh, that's his come that's, that's his, that's his oh no, I don't take it off the bum line. <laughs> But we're going to have to deal with it. I'm but anyway, that's, that's all for me, Chris. It's been a lovely night and uh, well, well done. Good camera work, mate. Good you camera work. Yeah, hey, you're a bit further away than you look. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Have you got a second hand? Anything from Megan? No, you're no, 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 come on. You're good. Okay. Andrew, how are the reggets going? They're fine. Where's the Shakespeare play Oh, we got the train. Hey, Romeo. Hey, Romeo. Romeo wants you. Hey, Romeo. Romeo wants you. Romeo wants you. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around. Yeah. Say hello. Hey, Romeo. Shoot me now. Shoot me now with the arrow, Romeo. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Underneath the table. Oh, Andy. How about you, Donna? Anything to say? You're all boring. Question. Chris, do you suck anyone's toes? Regularly? I like the jam. Trudy wants to know. If you do to her toes what you would just do in a Katie. <laughs> That's disgusting. You don't want to know what I do to Katie. <laughs> Scotty's got something to say. How are you, Scotty? A couple of words? One and two. Huh? Two and one. Yeah? Nice camera shot, okay, mate. A few words. One, two, three. What do you think of this night? Fantastic. Yeah? Come see me again later on. What about the service? I'm not leaving you because I know you don't want to talk. <laughs> service? Service, what type of service? Well, what, what do you think? What are the, what are the staff like here? Uh, I'm saying I'm... They're assholes. <laughs> That's it. Look at this bloke. He's got lots of... Yeah, here we go. Stewie's got something to say. <laughs> Look at that. What a handsome lad. Come on. Nothing. Still. No, you're as bad as Here he comes. Oh, look at that. Look at that walk. <laughs> I 
Wayne, a few words, mate. Tell the words. What do you got to say to us? <laughs> you couldn't do it, could you? <laughs> It's not zooming. It's not. Oh, I was bringing it back. I'll oh, stop it. Do that again. What was that? What did you indicate? I'm just pointing. This thing's all over the place. I can see where the camera angle is. Nice freckle, sweetheart. Mark, he's off. <laughs> Zoom it, zoom it. <laughs> lip lock, lip lock, lip lock and zoom. Turn your head a bit. Anita, turn about, turn about. Anita, turn straight. What's this, what's this, what's this? Anita, you're going to turn your head more, show some emotion. Turn this way, turn this way. No, drop your elbow, for God's sake. <laughs> Tony, be serious. I'm trying to get some action here to make money. <laughs> Drop your elbow and be serious. <laughs> make the oh, you didn't make the teeth puff out. <laughs>
party animal of the day, the spider. Wearing a nice bun. Christmas 
really is worth a point two bottle of Italian Here we go. Right, yeah, we have raised the grand total here tonight of $148. This is a pretty good effort. The first hand tote across the line will take home $92 for his owner, $37 for the second tote, and $19 for the third tote across the line. Okay, now this is your rules before we go any further. We're looking for everyone to move into the circle. Stay about two foot away. So come in a bit closer, they'll move your chair in here, that's the way. We want these toes to be comfortable in their uh, racing environment, if you know what I mean. There we go, rightio now, second rule, please do not throw anything into the ring as we're playing for a fair bit of money here tonight. We don't, any, uh, don't want any worries about how it was run. If you have any problems, well then, too bad, because the judge's decision is final, and uh, that's the way it runs. Now, before we go any further, I'll just run through the tape here tonight, let you know who's running. Tank tote number one is called Toad, sold for $10, a damn good buy. Second tote, good thing for $18, dog tank tote number three for 10 Ryan Toad for $21, Ruby for 24 Robbie for $18, change tote number six. James is change tote number seven, sold for 25 bucks. And last but not least, change tote number eight, Doremus for $23, okay? Our judges tonight, ladies and gentlemen, will be Steve as well as myself. And we need somebody from the audience who has nothing to do with, uh, has bought a tone. Did you buy a tone? No, he didn't actually, he didn't. So right now, come on up here, mate. Okay, right now, what we'll get you to do is just go stand over there. That's the way, Stevie, mate, you take your position over here. Take your foot out of the ring there, mate, or before the toes get on it or I chop it off, okay? Right now, ladies and gentlemen, look like we're ready for our race. We are now racing. One. Go to three dogs. Three dogs. Jump three. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Just shout out to the ladder. They might have some running. Oh, there we go. KK number eight back up the road. Eight's gone over the line for us, ladies and gentlemen. Five by KK, five and one. Eight, five and one. That's the way there's another one fighting under there, big fella. There's our winner. Thank you, Brad. Give your basic airline a one minute to join us in the morning before he goes off to work. Now, we actually, you work for the Australian Party, where he leaves stands seven days a week, doesn't have a day off, only on public holidays. But you put your shoes on the wrong feet, let's tell you. You know, so I did tell you, right, yeah, you just don't listen to me. Right, yeah. Now, like everybody else in the morning, you get there, beat a half a bit of a stretch, a bit of a yawn, a bit of a yawn. Get out. What are you doing? I know you do that for. He has a bit of a scratch of, uh, you know what, and then he, uh, he's all ready to go. I got you right, you can stop tapping your leg now. Right, guys, so the first thing he does in the morning is he goes off and he has some breakfast. So what we're going to do is we're going to stimulate this for you, okay? So he's off to the breakfast ring, tuck your shirt on, you're walking along, he's walking, he's walking, he's walking. You're still walking? Oh, you're there, you're there, are you there? He's there. Right, yo, we'll, tuck, we'll push his head a bit, mate. Okay, so what I said, what we've got here is some breakfast cereal as well as some milk. Now what we're going to do, like I said, was uh, simulate for you. So here we go. There's some cocoa pops. He loves his cocoa pops in the morning. So there's the cocoa pops right there. The bowl's right between your feet there, mate, so you know where you're going. You are right? Scratch all the up. He likes some nice and crusty here. So let's pop them into the bag, into the bowl. You are right? There we go. He's in the bowl. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'll take that for you. Thank you. Rightio. Now also put that down for a minute, mate. Put it down for a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't get too carried away here. We've got some milk. Now just open up that for us. That's the right way. Okay. And just have a bit of a taste of that because it's been sitting here for the last week because it was one I was going to use last week. But enough if it's off or not. Is it alright? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Gee whiz, mate. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> tuck your shirt in. Tuck your shirt in. You're a mess. How can you stand out here in front of all these people and not have your shirt tucked in, mate? You're an embarrassment. Here we go. There's your milk there. I've got the cereal right here. Do you want the other hand? Give me the other hand. Give me a hand here. Put some milk in there. Put some milk in there. You need some milk. Put, put a little bit of milk. Just a little bit. 
That's an awful lovely, lovely, lovely. Now that's why I'm going to get Give me that back here. Righty, I may hook into those for us. We'll pop that down there. <laughs> in and out, mate, in and out. That boy's got these specially designed goggles on him tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh, mate, that's a, that's a real. <laughs> hey, not in your mouth, is oh. oh. <laughs> Look at that. That's disgusting. <laughs> do, you, do you realize how much he's wasted on the floor there? Do you realise? Don't take that off your, you're going to crack it down the head somewhere. Oh, well mate, oh, look, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Now we've got, there's children starving in Rwanda and you're letting Coco Pop just get thrown around here willy nilly. So here we go, hang on, pop that in your mouth. Oh, no. I'm not going to get your hand out of there. <laughs> here we go, just one more mouthful, one more mouthful. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Alright? Okay, so he's had his breakfast now, the next thing you've got to do... Dave, mate, you've got to hurt yourself. <laughs> the next thing you've got to do, you finish your breakfast, you've got to get back... Alright, we know, that's right, that's right, mate, it's going to be faster. Right, yeah, the next thing you've got to do is get back to the bathroom there, okay, and maybe clean yourself up a bit. So you're walking up to the bathroom, he's heading down the bathroom, he's heading... Lift your feet a bit away, mate, what's wrong with you? Walk, that's the way, now you're running, you're running! You're running! <laughs> You only live in the small house, it's like, pull your pants up. <laughs> pull it. Come on, stop messing around, gee, please. Mate, this kid's here, so you can't be doing that. This is a family resort. How many times have I told you? You can't be showing them like that. Alright? So he's already out there, he's already out the bathroom, mate. How did you do that? <laughs> gee, please. He's at the bathroom, the next thing you gotta do is have a bit of a shave. Do you want some, uh, do you want me to clean you up a bit? Do you want a rag or something? Nah, you'll be right, okay. Right, yeah, so what we got here, you gotta have a shave. So the next thing you do, Get the old shaving cream out. Hello, what happened to your razor? It's gone. There it is. Righty-o. Pop a bit of the old uh, shaving cream on there. Make yourself a bit of a... You right? He's just testing to see the, the great paint, ladies and gentlemen. He's a big... Uh... Oh, hey, that one. Now, you're not getting your head shaved till next week, mate. On your face, on your face, on your face. Here, look. On your face. Oh. Where'd that water go? You right? Oh, no, we're not. We're only shaving your face today. Oh, hello. Watch out for that beard in the glass, eh? You right? Shave the legs, or yeah, he's looking. That's the feminine side coming out. You can't do that. I don't know what you're doing there. You right? You got enough shaving cream? Are you right? Okay, here we go. We got a bit of water here. As well as razor. You right, you finished? Can you see? Hey, hang on. This is better. Stay still. You right? Can you see, sort of? Give me a little tap, no, don't worry about it, you don't need to see. Right, yeah, we've got a razor here. Last week, unfortunately, we took it off and uh, if you've uh, noticed that movie, Troy has changed his face, while the other guy had multiple lacerations of the neck and, and the upper eyebrow, okay? So that's why we're going to leave the razor on the tape for you this week. So we've got here, there you go, mate, that, that's a razor right there in front of you. Bit of water there. So don't go over the board with the water, okay? Because I'm sitting here with a microphone in my hand, and there's 240 volts running through it, and I don't want to get wet. You are right? Here we go, just get rid of all that uh, shaving cream. Now this is just a normal ritual for him. Basically, yeah, move the legs. Move the, move the water there a bit further. Lovely, 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 lovely. Right, yeah, you want a bit more water? Here we go. Now it's very important when you get out of bed in the morning and you've got all that fur all over your tongue, you've got to get rid of it. And there's two ways to get rid of it. We've got it the most quickest and efficient way. And the best way to do that is to shave it off. So stick that tongue out, mate. We'll pop a bit of uh, shaving cream on top of it. Well, you've got to get rid of it. There's only one way. Okay, mate, now get the old razor there. Where's the razor? So put the safety pack on with you. Mate, put the safety on. You've lost it. I don't want to know what you're getting hurt. What happened to it? You've taken it off and you've hidden it, haven't you? What did you do to it? <laughs> He's in your pants. <laughs> Is it there? Come on, really, you're done with it. What are you done with it? Well... No, it's just wrong. Okay, we'll just use it backwards, just for this one. <laughs> Stick your tongue out. <laughs> Don't cut yourself, please. Oh, you have to feel a lawsuit coming on. You right? <laughs> there we go. 